Hello everyone, welcome to this webcast. Uh, I was exploring the Power BI with Dynamics 365 for Finance and Operations. So before going to D65, I found a very interesting Excel uh, Excel sheet provided by Microsoft itself called Financial Excel Sheet of a Financial Trust. So for an current version from last October, this option is available. So if you go, if you open the Power be a desktop a welcome screen you if you cancel it you will find this screen this area and if you click on a try sample dashboard and load sample data here you found a financial and their financial sheet either you can transform it or you can drag load google and google lead power b power bi sample data and here you found they give you a financial sample workbook for a power bi let's download it and explore it first So this is the sample file they gives us and it's wonderful to explore all the features available in Power BI recording all those things which provided by Microsoft itself. This data is available here we have a product, brands, units sold, manufacturers, sales price and all this information even they separate the year and month name and month number. So I'm going back to this and again uh, instead to load directly i click on a transform data for refresh data and formatting for example unit number we want to convert this into transform into a whole number and change type it to whole number to whole number and replace current you can see decimal numbers gone so this will round it and column transformation is done second thing we also move to segment to convert them transform them to upper upper case you can see everything is converted and you can see in the selected steps and now we can change the name of a column month name to just a month and and suppose that uh, we want to remove some product don't want to for example as per documentation uh, I am following the steps which is mentioned in power on their documentation Montana Montana is discontinued so we did not want to see the data on our dashboard click on and you can see the data is removed now we close and apply for a quick overview of power bi interface so first is port is report or a designer is the canvas where we can define design our dashboards here these are wheels we can use it and these are field and the this area we apply different properties values legends all these things legends and properties values which affect with affect the uh, wheels so second is our data here all the tables data tables we created or loaded from different data source are shown here and these are the different fields model window here we create a different model our database or created relationship between between the different tables so first of all if we go to explore the financial what is there we found that sales cogs are uh, some values they they and, and date and then discount gross manufacturing price month number all these uh, unit price all these are all, all these are numeric values date if you explore the dates 
we found date hierarchy and can automatically divide it into quarter month and day now here we go to create a new table based on the calendar and uh, i create this table with respect to query and start date i want to date minimum minimum and here i can use financial date and comma max financial that's a table and and here again date and i am going to close this as well as and here is the bracket is also closing bracket is missing and at the end one closing bracket or also missing let's see enter it let's see what will come we got the value minimum from 913 and maximum is 12 1 2020 so these are the dates i create a calendar based on okay our calendar is created and if i go if i go to model we have two tables date and date i calendar and date and so i can make a relationship between these two tables so first of all i'm going to a designer and enter here a text box and i enter here and i increase their text to 36 okay and now i'm selecting and update this to 36 okay and uh, so i create a profit and then i create a date it's automatically divided into and now if i go to expand it sorry if i margin and then i go to create on a date i divide it into 2014 and here i remove from here i remove the date and then quarter dragged and here is option for a drill down so if i click on it it uh, divided into months and here is a option of a legend so if i drag year here so it will be colored the show the difference between these two uh, two years here i am dragging the legend so you can see if i expo expand this you can see it automatically mentioned that two 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 hundred. So light color is two two thousand thirteen and higher dark color is twenty fourteen. So similarly, we can and here we mention profit and or uh, and about date on an axis level. So you can see it's monthly. It define the graph. Now we can explore about about region. You can see here is a country and a date. If I go again to a data uh, and I expand the data and a country. So from data category, I convert into a I drop 
click on a country it's automatically you can see it automatically show a map and now if i click on a profit i go back to our data and i select on a country and here i set a uh sorry i select uh, for select a country as you can see a uh, country icon will be appeared here so uh, if i save and go back on uh, dashboard and delete it and from here i first i click on a country and drag and expand it you uh, you can see it shows all the countries and if i click on a profit it show me the countries now we are going for a next uh, view where we have analysis sales of a product and if i click on a sales you can see a bar chart is created and if i click on a product you can see that it shows the all four products products now if i want to check the legend that with respect to sales with respect to segment and if i go to click on a segment and drag it to a legend it divided that segments we are channel partners enterprise government mid market and business small businesses so this product will be sold and this is the sales and sales goes to government area if, if we if see this product and its comparison with channel partners comparison with comparison with enterprise and mid market so this will be the sales product by segment now we are going to add a year slicer copy all wheels into a single page all graphs are come into a single page now we want to add a slicer so slicer can be used to filter data for all dashboards for click uh, for this i have to click here and you can see here we added a year and 2013 and if we select one you can see all dashboards are getting uh, chain effect on all dashboards are starting to appear so if i want to check the data for 2020 you can see the all data will be appear and we can check a apply based on the this is a quick overview of a sample data provided by microsoft itself and we explore small small dashboard with the help of with the help of the tutorial given by a microsoft and please subscribe my youtube channel meet you in the next video